The past year has been quiet on Santa Fe Drive. But artists... Eyes for me have always just come easily. ...kept working. I'm working on a portrait of DMX. Because painting is a full-time job for Daniel Ortiz, pandemic or not. Yeah, that one was the first one I did in, like, March when everything kind of shut down. That moment, everybody was freaking out about toilet paper. A time where many artists were also worried about the future. Daniel shifted to social media sales as some galleries on Santa Fe closed. But Denver Art Society, a volunteer-run co-op, was determined to survive. I made a point to try and come in every day to keep the doors open. As an artist himself, Andy Perry knew the importance of providing this space, not just for the people who fill the walls, but for those who come to appreciate the work. I think that people are just tired of looking at the same four walls. You know, they were stuck in their house, and uh, then when they were able to come out, they found out we were open. But this gallery is done being a pandemic secret. They're ready for everyone to remember what the Santa Fe Art District is about. It's now our chance for us artists to show our stuff to the public that hasn't been out for a year to see it. First Fridays are back, along with hope that more support will finally return to local artists and their communities. I don't know if we're ever going to get 100% back to normal like it used to be, but we're getting closer to it, and I'm grateful for that. Liz Kodalik, 9 News.